Welcome everyone to the ninth video of my Galactic Civilizations 3 Let's Play playing as the Iridium Corporation on Suicidal Difficulty. So I think we can safely say now that the colonizing phase of the game is over and in fact the resource grab phase of the game is probably uh, coming to a conclusion as well. There's better durantium here and there and uh, not much more than that really now. Uh, I think there's a source of thulium no one's got there. I'm going to construct the rover to the antimatter. And uh, yeah, as I mentioned, there's a bit of durantium here and there to grab. So once uh, those two phases are over, I should really be uh, probably making a military of sorts. So I'm going to be doing that in a not too distant future. As I mentioned, I think in a previous video, I probably want to get to large ships before I actually do that. I don't know if any of the AIs have that uh, tech yet. Probably not. Doesn't look like the yours actually gotten much more tech since I last spoke to them. Uh, yeah, I don't think they've got that either. Something I've noticed though is the ideology has changed. I'm now considered as a uh, ruthless or malevolent uh, faction or civilization. So the uh, Korean actually like me a bit more relations are stabilized, they're not going down anymore. The Yor are actually becoming more friendly with me because ideologies change, but the Flaylan and the Terrans are fast becoming upset with me. So they're cordial now, they were close before. So I'm probably going to have to trade with the Terrans. And at this stage I should probably also show you some of uh, the timeline uh, graphs here. So that's faction power, Economic power, this is godlike, so they're all going to be miles ahead on uh, most of these. The only factions we have in military, really, are the Yorn and Crane, and they're becoming, uh, well, Dibbler relations are certainly stabilizing with them now. It's uh, the Phalans and the Terrans have to worry about diplomatically, arguably, but they don't have a military. I'm not really sure who I should trade with then in this situation, honestly. Probably will send a Franker to the Terrans just in case they get a military. I'm not really worried about the Phalans, I think. Population, we're coming up, but our growth rate is terrible, so it's taking a while. Influence is actually top now because we have the most planets. The Terrans actually have really high class planets, so they might even have more tiles than I do, even though I have more planets, but um, yeah. Uh, it's pretty close, probably. Uh, total manufacturing. So we're actually miles off because godlike AI gets crazy bonuses. They all have a huge population, so that's why they're doing so well with uh, very few planets. Social manufacturing on high. I'm actually top in military manufacturing. My research is non-existent and always has been, but we've been able to tech trade to get techs apart from at the very beginning, basically. So yeah, that's the current state of things. I did my buildings in between videos and I've got a tiny bit of movement left, so what's left exactly? I'm going to upgrade that, actually put, designed a new uh, constructor, possibility engines that has three constructor modules, so I'm going to upgrade that there, I believe, well as you can see here I just have enough mass for that, and that freighter uh, Sadly, it doesn't have the range to get to there, which is where I think I want to trade it. It's an amazing world, that is. Class 18. I'm going to trade it to Kexone, though. I could trade with some miners. Might do, in fact. I'm going to see how it affects things diplomatically with these early freighters. Uh, so there's one coming down there. I think I'm happy with that. How big is that? 14. Actually, let's send that to there. That's one. Come down here somewhere, isn't there? To a your planet. Okay. Alright, send the turn. So, 17 turns away is taking forever, but I've invested in next to no research currently. It's going to be a while before I get my research will finished as well, so I'll probably... I don't think I'll... 
I'll probably get like the minimum infrastructure up on them on some of them before actually switching over to research. So let's find let's go through my plants. So yeah, get three more up there and maybe start putting it on research. Let's get it up. Yeah. So got a bit of work to do there. Uh right. Nope. Graveyard, 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 graveyards. Okay, sensor. Township there. Okay, so that's Earth and Mars near to it. While I'm down here, I should probably grab that, shouldn't I? One, two, three, four, five. Let's put it there. Probably won't ever take that world, but keep my distance in case I want to put an econ star base there eventually if I did take it. I probably want to grab that while this is over here. This has got next to mo no movement, sadly, though. Like a shock star base. Mine rain. Let's put mine barracks on as well. Now I don't need any of that, so there's no point in me wasting constructor modules on it. Let's take that out there. Rule of three all around there. Colony. Let's build some research there. Not sure what I'm going to put there. It's good for influence. Might scrap one of those eventually. Uh, what's this? So this is a survey. Let's go and grab that space junk, is it? 26 movement. Grab it before the Terrans get it. 100, nice. Doubt I'm going to be able to pick that up, but I'll try. Right, I believe that's actually end of turn, surprisingly. So, next turn. I went quickly. Ah, Crin just got the antimatter. So. I want to get need to get another constructor over there to grab that ascension and upgrade the antimatter. There's another s what's this freighter? Um, let's put some possibility engines in the list somewhere there here. There. away from snappy so buffalo's in range construct star base another source of thulium there's going to be a heck of a lot less micromanagement in the game once they well get rid of the constructor spam I think they're just going to have a feature where star bases act like shipyards where you move um, manufacturing to them to upgrade them or something like that at some stage 
probably won't be until an expansion comes out. Right, so that's uh, done, I think. So, yeah, I'll explore down there. So, I should probably look for resources and upgrade that to constructor. That can go over here. Can't actually make them an anomaly, can you? So I have to put this somewhere else. Right, let's grab that earlier. Need some more mining barracks. So I can make another Illyrium defense shield as well, and I want to arm uh, one of my Hyperion potential worlds. Oh, I haven't uncovered all the tiles there actually either. Uh, that colony. No idea where this is going. Should probably grab some Durantium around here. Okay, what's this? Right. Nope, can't get that. Let's grab that. Treasury, nice. Well, this money will start to add up. Ooh, got a free ship, did we? Uh, beams, missile, and beam defense. Small. Okay, so who's the biggest threat to me currently? Could be. They're still unfriendly. It's a crin, I guess. They've gone down to warm now. So the nearest planet of mine near to the crin is this one. So I'll bring you down there. Probably not enough to take out pirates on its own. So that's. Starbase there. Okay. Colony. Let's scrap that. Make that. Now, in certain circumstances, I would actually put the food on top of the growth bonus. If I was going to play a peaceful game, probably. The reason, well, basically, growth is incredibly important if you're planning on making transports. You need to replenish your plants if you're taking population off them. So that's why I have uh, focus on it a bit more. That's why I put it on bonuses, basically. If I wasn't, if I was playing peaceful and I wasn't going to make transports, then I could probably put a food on the food bonus. So it's plus 10 there, this costs 30. Um right. So I just made that. Let's make this, is it? Should twenty, that's gonna cost me. I have to get then a couple of turns. Uh, let's check the shipyard. 196. Yeah, I've got enough. Okay, sensor. Okay, let's believe that's end of turn. 
Might as well antimatter now. Quanter, I think, is my Hyperion. Yeah, let's probably build antimatter there. I need to finish that. Where's my other Hyperion place? Could start antimatter here now. I only have one source of it though. What's that? Okay, we've got another... Whatchamacallit? Cargo. I think I'll move this to the Kryn. I'm not sure if I want to trade with them though, to be honest, but I might do. So we've got two going there, one to the Yule, one to the Terrans. They're all going to get negatives for trading with heathens, is it? I can't remember what a modifier is called, something like that. So I'm not sure if I want to trade with each of them, but we'll see. I can always cancel it and make new ones if I don't like the modifier it gives me. Okay. Another graveyard? Nope. Might be able to survive an attack off the pirates now, actually. Okay, what's that? Artifacts, right, I definitely want that. Hundred treasury, nice. Let's grab that. Right, so there was nothing here, no surprises. Ooh, manufacturing relic. I'll grab that. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now is that range? Looks like a flay lens. That's gone to me. So Thane's got there too late. Uh, this constructor... One, two, three, four, five. It's good there. Let's upgrade you. This is 45. Okay, approval built there. Let's build that there. I'm trying to think what I want here, not really sure. I'll have to figure it out later. Okay, approval should be f right, that's fine there. So let's start getting research up. So. Can go there. I think, yeah, you can get a Thulium build in here to increase your research. I could make that somewhere, but I don't have much Thulium, do I? So maybe not. What do I want here? Make one more of those. Yeah, I get the terraforming app, but not really sure where I want to put approval and stuff here yet. What's that? Military. Okay. Colony ships. I think I'm going to bring one of those down here, upgrade it to a constructor, get that Durantium, because I don't currently have it there. So that's, uh, I can come down here, and this can scout up there, see if uh, there's more antimatter, which there may be up there. And that's the end of the turn. Anything on notifications that's interesting? Not really. End turn.
I think I can tech trade with the miners in about four more turns now. Some of my freighters should be getting pretty close, in fact. Yeah, it's right there. So I believe we've got a trade movie coming up. Okay, so first trade route. Is this kicking in yet? No, not yet. So we get. Should get a diplomacy boost to them next turn, and hopefully they will no longer be unfriendly. So, money-wise, how much do we get for that? Trade, 10 bucks. So, no idea how the trade planet incomes is calculated. Route length is pretty obvious how that's calculated. The longer the better. And the rest is pretty self-explanatory, aren't they? Okay. So, still losing money, but we've got tons in reserve so it's not doesn't matter whatsoever really right so that's got into place let's make starbase there mine rain and let's move away here I think, right, I need to find out over there to see if it's a extreme world or not. This colony ship's come up here. Right, it's like I've finished. I could really do with getting approval up here now. So that's influence. I don't have any influence buildings that I can really take advantage of that though with most of this land could be terraformed but it's not going to be able to do that until very very late game I think yeah let's uh, destroy that then so let's get up intimidation center and improve my approval a bit probably get a preparedness center up and run in there. So that's 120. I think I want that done in a turn, so eight of a leftover. I'll do. So how much have I got going in the shipyard? I got tons left over so that I get those done in a turn easy enough. Uh, right, that's up and running. Probably going to need some food here at some point, but I don't actually need it yet. Arguably, should get a preparedness center up here somewhere as well. So, that actually, cause I do need ideology points. It would be nice to have them anyway. Let's scrap that then. Should I scrap that one? Scrap that one. Make that there. So this is 67. That's completed this research. So I'd love to upgrade all of that research now, but what I might do is actually start researching here. So this is 43. I think I should get this done. Then I'll probably upgrade it more. Uh, this planet system. Right, I think what I'm going to do here, I'm going to make prepare the center there. Probably put approval there. I was thinking about wealth, but I probably just have this as research. 
It's got more bonuses for it. Although that does give a bonus as well there. Just don't need money that much. So this world. Let's make another lab there. This can temporarily go on research and I'll upgrade it again later. I have spear Illyrium now, so I actually want to use that on here. Both those factories are done. This could end up being my research capital world actually, because it's got such a big bonus and a good rain. Trying to figure out where to put the terraform into there. Probably terraform there and there early on. Right, I'll do. What's left? Constructor. I'll move you to. Well, that's gonna upgrade there. If... Right, that should be okay still. Grab that actually. Upgrade that, get that. Enter. Okay, that got completed. I must have picked up an anomaly. That looks like I still have a constructor over here. Palm route, so I forgot about it. Freight uh, 12.3. Let's check something here. So, we are trading with each other. That gives one bonus. Now, are the others unhappy about that? Yeah, you are trading with an infidel. So, it's not he, then it's infidel. So, that's making our relations worse to them. So, if I trade with those. They're going to get that modifier as well, I believe. We shouldn't get it with the Yordle because they're the same ideology, I believe. Those two. So might as well trade here. Okay, 13 credits for that one. So it's 8.2 in planet income there. No idea how it's calculated still. Uh, this survey ship can. That's a graveyard. I probably can't pick that up, but I'm gonna try. Nope. Okay, let's come over here. Colony ship can explore up here. I've got the pirates over here. Right, so that can go on search temporarily. I got great. Oh, that's actually entertain already, is it? So I think I had something complete here. Probably trade with a crane again. Fourteen eight. I 
That's the biggest world, so it should have the biggest population and biggest wealth probably eventually. So I'm gonna trade to that one. Okay. Right, and I wouldn't be surprised at this stage if I'm over half an hour here, so I think I'll call it an end of the video. I might do some of the movement and the buildings in between videos, perhaps. Okay, hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.